So I've got this close-up of uh, Bighorn Sheep. This is uh, part of my Bighorn Sheep trilogy, I guess. And, and I love the, the textures and things that are happening in the head here. And I'm just trying to map out all the different parts. of how this head's gonna go. And, and I'm pretty happy with, the head's got, the face has got a lot of structure to it, and it, I think it's gonna be pretty exciting. Um, you know, the background's just minimal, not much happening. And we'll see how all this is going to go. But um, it, it should be fun to do. You know, it, it's just got a lot of movement it's got you know you have this big swirl of the horns and the texture is going to be really cool and and i've been having lots of fun you know doing uh um fur and things like that and so i'm thinking this is going to be pretty interesting when it, when i go to paint it up so um <clears throat> I think I'll just get started real quick here and start laying in a lot of, you know, a lot of the values and colors. And, and we'll see how it goes. And this is just supposed, this is just a fun painting. You know, it's not a figure. Figure, you know, I get a little uptight on getting everything exact and, and working out, you know, proportions and stuff like this. This, you don't know if I drew it right or not. Does it matter? So that just makes it a little more freeing. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling more free at just being creative and, and um, you know, just following wherever, you know, how I, however I want to do this and however, you know, the mood takes me. And uh, we'll see where we end up. So, so far, I'm just laying in colors, trying to get some values working here, trying to understand where I'm going to go with this. Uh, I've been enjoying the blues that I have in here. I like the, I think that's going to work really well um, as far as creating some drama into some of those areas so I, I'm trying to push these cool and warm shadows against each other I'm trying to make it uh, work together and not necessarily fight each other I don't want to get it too rainbowy because that can be a problem um, and so as I develop these colors I'll let these dry a little bit and then I'll start pushing neutral colors into these, kind of like that, to modify them a little bit. Right now I pushed the the color variations and, and saturations to an extreme and then I'll pull it back into trying to get them all to work in harmony with each other but still keeping some of that exciting color and, and stuff happening in these different areas. But it's coming along. And I'm just playing around with a little tiny brush. I, I want lots of linear aspects happening in here. 
I want to be able to see all these different lines and textures building up. And let's see how that goes. But it's all starting to pull together a little more. You know, and I've got, you know, all this background stuff that I need to drop in here pretty soon here. Um, so I can work the values off of each another a little more. Again, you know, I, I love color. I love playing with color. And so, you know, it, it's just a... Uh, seeing what I can do, seeing what I can get away with and still make it work. So I've got a lot of the negative space uh, kind of mapped out here and it's the the big thing when when you're doing a painting is you know getting a general underpaint going because uh, once once you have an underpaint if you have an area where you want to modify you know it's easy to go okay I want this maybe a little lighter you know and because I know this horn's going to be really dark and plan that to be really dark so you're always playing light against dark and, uh, and so I'm just dropping in a few rocks here a little, little highlight on the rocks and I'll drop a shadow in those rocks uh, um, to create space and it's coming along you know uh, painting you really have to be patient it's not going to all pull together right away sometimes you know right now this 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 isn't how I want it to look in the end I, I really need to uh, uh, push my highlights you know this this area is too dark and so I need to adjust that um, you know I, I like how this area has gone more uh, cool and blue and so I'm going to use that here. I'm probably going to use that more here. And so I'm going to adjust all these areas while they're still wet. And it makes it real easy to add that in there. Okay, now I can add a few shadows. Put some rocks in there. Now maybe another rock here. So anything closer is going to have more contrast. Anything farther away is going to have less contrast. You know, you're just following all these little rules. And I'm just going to add some other colors in here to create some rocks. Oops, a little more white. And, and that's how you do it. You know, now I, I really need to de develop this, get this going. Once I have that going, then I'm going to adjust what I have in the background. Now I'm just going to put a few more rocks in here. Shadow on those rocks. And it's getting there. So I've got a lot of the negative space color or covered, but I, you know, it's it's not finished. You know, it's going to take a, a little more work developing some of this, adding colors, uh, working wet and wet, wet and dry, and, and things like that. So it's uh, it's coming there. Okay, that needs to be a lot lighter. 
That's two. And we'll go later. Let's get in there. Now I'm losing this into the background, so I need to to bring this back up. And where's that edge? It's somewhere in here. I have that ear sticking up. And so it's you know it just takes time to develop these shapes, the values. But uh, if you trust the process, trust the process that you've developed over years and stuff and time, it, it all starts working for you. Oops, I'm going to make that a little more blue. Yeah. And it should work out. So I've got a lot of the horns covered um, with just a general color. It's kind of just an underpaint right now. And I'm, I'm just working on you know, cleaning up some of this sloppiness. But you know, I, I, I have the shadow area on this horn. I have the highlight area on the horn working. Uh, and it is getting there to where um, I'll probably switch to a smaller brush. I want to keep this nice linear motion going because this is a huge part of the composition and I want you know the, the lines going around the horn, you know, across and, and keeping that all a part of it. I, I want this just to be blocked out, you know, down here, you know, into just different planes. Um, facing different directions and so it is getting close to where I want it. Now it's just a matter everything's nice and wet. This is the perfect opportunity to to add color and add drama and you know so this orange will become orange and red and maybe some yellows in here and then I'm going to drop in some really nice dark um, gold brown um, yellow ochre in here to make this all you know more three-dimensional so this is going to be my big strong point leading into the face So I've added a lot more detail into the bighorn sheep here, and I'm adding lots of subtle color changes as I go along, and it's progressing very nicely. I'm still trying to work out some of the values here, this this highlight in these sh um, shadow areas. This highlight's not bright enough, but I've got. The paint's so thick here that I have to let this dry a little bit before I can put another layer on. So a, a lot of painting is being patient. You know, let the painting develop. It's not all going to come right away. You know, and you have to trust that as you make it progress, it's going to get a little better every time. Um, and you know. And right now, so I'm just making small changes. I'm not making huge changes. I'm, I'm just making slight color shifts to, to create interest. I'm just very carefully just making small changes. You know, it's, you know some areas still need to be developed a little more. Um, some areas, you know, are 
are fine being loose. Um, you know, like this down here is still still pretty rough. And I'll develop that as, as I go along. So it, it's, you know, I really concentrated on what's going on with this horn here and how it relates to the, this. I need to get it to relate to the front of the face of the bighorn sheep. So I need to pull some of these colors that I've got going over here into here. So it, it pulls together a little more. And pulling together um, is, is trying to get the color harmonies to work throughout the composition. Now the color harmony in the background isn't, isn't working yet. It, but I just have a layer in the background and this will change as it goes. You know, this this is just a, a wet layer under paint and, and it'll it'll come along as I keep developing this painting. And so it's subtle changes. You may not be able to see it in the video, um, but uh, all these little little adjustments little value changes add up you know it, it, it uh, creates a better whole and, and it's just a matter of going over these layers a, a couple of times you know so this is like the second layer I put onto this and I'll for sure put another third layer on and I may le let this dry a little bit now so I've done wet and wet and uh, I, I want some to rake some lighter values over the top to create highlights and it's gonna make it every every little bit just adds a little more to the narrative of the light hitting the big corn sheep and in the structure and getting it all to work and it's just a, a few touches here and there so you're just you're, you're just adjusting things with different touches of how this is going to go So hopefully you can see what's changed. Um, you know, I, I, I reworked all this. I re reworked some parts here. I, I went in the background a little bit. <clears throat> so I got a second layer on just about everything. And I, I think I'm gonna have to let it dry a little bit before I can put the third and final layer on. And, uh, and we're getting really close the color and it quits here, but it's it's getting there, you know. Um, wherever I have a shadow area, it's usually lighter. Wherever I have a highlight area, the background negative space is usually lighter or darker, and uh, you know it, it's just basic one-on-one drawing. As far as what I'm doing, I grayed some areas in the background so it wasn't so uh, pink or orange, and uh, and that's hopefully makes this come forward more. And you know, I changed the color combination in in this area a little more. I I worked on the eye that needed uh, a lot more work, and. Uh, and just adjust things all over. I, I need to uh, let some of this set up here. You know, I adjusted the values here. Um, I want some of the reds to show through. I brought some more blues back in in here, and uh, and so I'm gonna just make small changes now 
and nothing huge just a small adjustments here and there just to add small accents add variety just to make things just a little more exciting in some areas so I'll what I'll do here is I'll I'll zoom you in so you can see everything a little better so exactly what you know a lot of times you can't see exactly you know the, the camera doesn't show everything perfectly so we'll zoom in so you can see uh, you know the the brushwork the texture in the hair You know, all the detail that's happening in this horn. And see how I built up all the strokes, you know, on top of each other, making a number of layers. So if I zoom in a little here. Oops. You can see more of what's going on. And that's painted, you know. So I'm just finishing up this big horn sheep. I'm pretty happy with how most of this is turning out now. And uh, I think I'm going to call it quits. Because it's can't think of anything else to paint or, or to fix or to adjust and uh, I'm, I'm pretty much finished here I don't know if it didn't work just this a little more right on a yellow ochre put this more down That's a little better. And I'm just making small adjustments. And we're just going to... I'll probably play with it a little more, but I'm just adjusting a couple little things here just adding little touches 
but I'd say it's pretty much done. So if I do a close-up for you here. Let's see. I'll rotate this down. And you can see the brushwork. The, the color I'm thinking everything's just about working here see the brushwork on the horns color on the camera isn't quite exactly the way it is in real life but you know I'm shooting this with my phone so I'll zoom back out and that's pretty much it um, if you like the video, please hit the like button. That always helps uh, for YouTube rating what, what I've been doing. And if you haven't subscribed, hit the su su subscribe button. That always helps for eventually I'll be able to, you know, use that to, to show more people what I'm doing. Um, and I'll probably get more hits. So, um, you know, this, this video is made for my students. And for my granddaughter, Emma Renee, I, I hope you've enjoyed it.